Hi friends, I am Amar Mohite. Today we will understand the difference between humidity and relative humidity. Humidity and relative humidity are quite confusing phenomena. Both humidity and relative humidity measures the amount of water present in the air. Let's first understand what is humidity. Humidity is the amount of moisture present in the air in the form of water vapors. It is measured in gram per liter that is mass per volume. Humidity is largely depends upon the atmosphere of the area and season of the year. For example, in the dry area like desert the humidity remains very very low whereas in the areas near to the ocean or sea the humidity remains very very high similarly if you if we take the example of seasons the humidity in rainy season is always higher than the summer season humidity sometimes also called as absolute humidity let's understand what is relative humidity friends air can hold only limited amount of moisture or water vapor at particular temperature the maximum amount of moisture or water vapor that air can hold is considered as 100% so based on this you can define the relative humidity the relative humidity is the percentage of moisture against the highest level of moisture that air can hold at particular temperature based on this the formula for relative humidity will be actual amount of moisture in air divided by the maximum amount of moisture that air can hold both these determinations shall be carried out at same temperature into 100 this 100 is to convert the result into percentage to understand it let's take one example consider an area which can hold maximum 120 gram per liter of moisture in the air and suppose the actual moisture in the air of the same area is 60 then what will be the relative humidity of that area for example actual amount of moisture in the air is 60 degree divided by the area can hold maximum 120 gram per liter of moisture so 60 divided by 120 into 100 is equal to 50 percent from this formula you can calculate that the relative humidity of that area is 50 percent uh, let's keep in mind that both these determinations should be performed at same temperature when moisture in the air exceeds this maximum limit the exceeded moisture gets converted into droplets and these droplets are generally known as dew or fog friends this concept of relative humidity is followed across the pharmaceutical industry for example the concept of relative humidity is used to evaluate the impact of moisture on the stability of drug substances or drug products relative humidity is also used to control the critical areas in pharmaceutical industries for example storage area dispensing area manufacturing area 
लैबोरेटरी एरिया एक्सेट्रा दिस कंट्रोल ऑफ ह्यूमिडिटी इज वेरी वेरी नेसेसरी पर्टिक्युलरली इन केस ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ हाइग्रोस्कोपिक मटेरियल्स दिस विल अवॉइड द दिस विल अवॉइड द एब्सॉर्बन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक मॉइस्चर बाय द हाइग्रोस्कोपिक मटेरियल्स हंड्रेड परसेंट इज द हाइएस्ट एंड जीरो परसेंट इज द लोएस्ट वैल्यू फॉर द रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी so friends in this session we have understood the basic difference between humidity and relative humidity if you have liked the content of this video i would like to request you please subscribe my channel thank you very much